एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉलेज स्टार कॉन्टिन्यूस नॉलेज एक्सीलेंस माय नेम इज निशा मसरूर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो अबाउट लिस्ट ऑफ माइक्रोब्स नाउ आर एक्सपर्ट प्रोफेसर मोहिदार हु इज एसोसिएटेड विद नेशनल सेंटर एक्सीलेंस इन एग्रो नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी टेरी डाइकन नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर इंडिया ही हैज थर्टी वन ईयर्स ऑफ एकेडमिक एक्सपीरियंस इन टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च His area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology, nano bio interface science, soft matter science, polymer physics and biophysics. We'll explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. Now, this is a list of the microbes on the left hand side. These are all viruses. Then the type of nano cellulose that has been utilized which has been used as a filter now and most of these are not functionalized here in fact they have used the bacterial nano cellulose but cnf is here but cnc and cnf are here so but the take away from there is the cellulose nano cellulose regardless of the source of its origin can be used as a filter to remove virus which is available as present in the effluent in in some dominants it can be removed from the effluent by the nanocellulose nanocellulose purely based on the filtration mechanism here they again they come and get deposited on the surface of nanocellulose because cellulose is also a biomaterial so there is a affinity of this virus to come and get attached to the surface and that is help helpful in mitigating their concentration now the same experiment has been tried on bacterial samples you can see e coli and bacillus subtilis and both cnc and cnf has been tried on that and with or without functionalization they are also able to remove the bacterial material from the test solution so it proves that it works against bacteria also works against virus antifungal material same story the type of fungus that you can see here listed here starting with candida albicans many other types of fungus there and this nanocellulose type here cnf cnc and all and they have all shown It's very strong effect on the removal of the fungal material from the effluent solution. This is a summary of the nano cellulose acting as an effluent. So it has got proven efficiency for effluent remediation, and you can see on the top they are all heavy metals. Extraction of heavy metals. from the effluent either we use cnf or cnc and these are the mechanism sorption maximum is a nano adsorption and the degree of separation is this something like 35 mg per gram of nano cellulose here in fact it is 55 mg per gram of nano cellulose for nickel and 135 mg per gram of zinc wait 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 are you worry about your project training dissertation internship don't think too much because nano science and technology consortium in short nstc is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same tasks nstc also conducts workshop on amazing topics so if you want to register in the workshop The registration link is given in the description box below or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops so just check it out right now so it's very very efficient in case of in fact iron the efficiency is as high as 99% so it's very very efficient remover of heavy metal ions from the dispersion now coming to the extraction of dyes is another pollutant that comes mostly from the packing industry textile rubber pulp and paper and painting industry there are various types of 
dais that is released in the effluent again we used the nanocellulose material and adsorption works fine and most of these things are removed with certain amount of efficiency so the capacity is typically something like 30 to depending on the dye and the the nanocellulose type we are using can go from th 30 to um, 350 milligram per gram which is really really huge and the adsorption efficiency can be as high as 90 percent so it all depends on the type of nanocellulose one is using and its purity okay if that is maintained then it is easy to remove dyes from water using nanocellulose as a filtering mechanism next is the hydrocarbons here oils separation here particularly the bacterial and bacterial nanocellulose shows most sorts of efficiency So the degree of separation can be something like as high as about 180 gram per gram, which is really huge. So all these possibilities exist with you using the carbon nanocellulose, sorry, cellulose nanofibril when it is used as an active agent for the effluent treatment. Interestingly, people have done also work on the desalination problem where you desalinate sea water to potable water and the material has a permeability of something like 90 to 95 percent and has shown a lot of promise in the desalination experiments so it has got a, a lot of versatile properties which can be exploited to make a effluent treatment system it can go as one of the major ingredients in a effluent treatment plant i hope you like the video here, I would like to give you an important information that Nanoscience and Technology Consortium organized the nanotechnology workshops on very interesting topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSDC in which you can also be a part of. Joint product development, research projects, consultancy services, nanomaterials for your research projects, training programs or customized training programs, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.